<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is Any Kind Media, where we break down movies, TV shows, and video games, and give our perspective on it. This is your host, Ocean Subiano, and I'm joined here by Taylor Vero. Thanks for coming back. Today we have a uh, movie that's not necessarily brand new, but it just recently yeah. came out on uh, HBO Max, and yeah. I watched it for the first time yesterday. Yeah, and me and my wife, we watched it a couple of days ago. We watched it in the theaters when it first came out, but we watched it a couple of days ago because we really enjoyed it during the theaters. And no, uh, it, it's actually a movie that um, kind of got, I think, a little bit mixed reactions, but we figured, you know, it's something that we both just recently watched and uh, something that... Maybe a lot of people didn't see during when it was in the theaters, and now that it's on HBO Max, people are like, oh, should we watch it? Should we not? So now you might be able to use this video to help give a, a little bit different perspective. Um, so we're wearing the sunglasses because, uh, you know, a lot of the movie, the whole, a lot we're of the cool. movie involves. Yeah, really? we're, just, I mean, we're, we're cool, cool guys now. Um, rule number one, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, but. The, a lot of what the movie takes place around is glasses, right? The f- fact that people or the players wear glasses. So yeah. we just thought it'd be funny to start out the video like this, but we'll just set those right there. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the movie was, I think I think there was mixed reaction. Low key, if you out. feel like sponsoring us, Oakley, you know? Yeah. I mean, these aren't Oakleys, but they well. look like it. They could be they, if you sponsored they wish, us. They wish they were Oakleys. Yeah, <laughs> if you sponsored us, they could be Oakleys. Uh, no, but the, I think there was actually some pretty mixed reactions when the movie first came out. Um, to give people a little bit of background, if you know nothing about it, um, it's a movie that came out 20... Oh. <laughs> I think I want to say 2020 or maybe 2019. Was it really that long ago? I, so. I don't think so. I think it was might have been twenty twenty one. I think it was a year ago. Nah, you you might be right. Um, yeah, I don't think it's that old. In case you're in case you're twenty twenty one, you've gotten to this point and you haven't realized for some reason because yeah, it's probably part of the title, but it's Free Guy is what we're talking about. <laughs> I just realized we didn't even say the movie but title. Yes, free Guy starring yeah, Ryan Reynolds. So the movie is Free Guy. It's starring Ryan Ryan Reynolds and um, let's see who else is in it. Um, where's the cast? Taika it's uh Waititi. Ryan Reynolds, Jodie Com- Comer, Joe Keery, um, Taika Waititi is in it. I don't think he's the director, is he? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's see. No, the director was Sean Le- uh, Sean Levi, but um, uh, Taika Waititi is in it. <laughs> we love Taika he's Waititi. Great. Um, but uh, the the movie came out in twenty twenty one. Um, I don't know. Like I, I enjoyed it, but I also some of our friends said that they didn't enjoy it, and I think got somewhat mixed reactions. Let's see what the Rotten Tomato score was. The uh, all right, load. Yep. <clears throat> The Rotten Tomato score, ah, it did pretty well actually. The Rotten Tomato score was eighty uh, percent for the the critic side, and the audience score was ninety four percent. So I guess it didn't really get mixed reviews. Maybe just within my personal circle, it got mixed reviews. Um, so I I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun game or fun movie. Um, the premise of the movie is that uh, this character that Ryan Reynolds plays is a NPC or um, a non-playable character um, within a video game, and um, he is the first first uh, AI to ever exist, right? Or that, well, what is the first? Um, he's the first, like uh, his kind, in a sense that he's an AI that learns right. and he's he a sentient evolves. AI. Yeah, and he grows, um, and so he. He thinks that he's real because he's an NPC and he's a, and he's an AI, but in reality he's an NPC in a game. Um, and there are other characters that wear glasses, um, sunglasses or regular glasses. That those the people that are wearing glasses are the actual players of the game, like real humans that log into the game and they play the game. 
and um, it's very like GTA s. I'll say it's right. It's like, definitely GTA inspired. Um, yeah, it's very GTA s where like uh, it's an open world and you can do all these different missions, but it's definitely like very um, like like. Uh, what you call it? I don't know what word I'm looking for. Like, I don't want to say bad, but like, like no, oh, I mean like it's, it's violent. A, it's, yeah, it's, it's violent. Like the it, game, the, it revolves around like yeah. doing crimes and yeah, things you like it's not, generally wouldn't do in real life, right. just like GTA. Right, it's very GTA based. Like you rob like for, people, steal yeah. things, shoot and kill yeah. people. Yeah, so it's for it, money and buy all kinds of vehicles and apartments. Cool stuff. stuff. Yeah, so. Um, we, you know, he watched it the other day. I watched it uh, a couple of days ago, and we just we just thought we'd give our take on it. Um, let's just start off with overall thoughts. Like, I thought it was a good movie. Yeah, it was fun. I agree. It was um, I, like I said, only just watched it. Um, wasn't expecting a whole lot from it. Uh, yeah. Even though I, I did see that it had actually had pretty good reviews from what I remember, um, but I just. I don't know. It never stood out to me, so I didn't watch it. And then it came out on HBO Max, and we just wanted something to watch. It was new, so I, you know, played it. Yeah. And uh, I mean, it's a Ryan Reynolds movie, yeah. so I know exactly what, what I'm getting doing? into because he plays the same thing every time, and he's good at it. Yeah. <laughs> he's he funny. Is, he's he charming. Uh, you know, like super good. Looks good. Like I said, really funny. Uh, but yeah, it's an enjoyable movie. Uh, it's very easy to, uh, I guess, believe in the world and stuff because yeah. you know it's like I said, revolves around games and there's a whole bunch of references to all whole kinds of video of games, which I wasn't expecting that. But that doesn't really come in until like the end. Um. Because for the most part, it kind of sticks with that GTA like yeah. theme. Uh, it has a pretty, I would say, like s- kind of relatively standard like overall story and like theme. But it was done in an enjoyable way. Like all the characters I thought were so it- either believable or yeah. funny, whether they were good or not. But uh, and it was an interesting. I guess take because uh because it was so focused on like not the main characters like making the side characters kind of the focus you know right 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 yeah so um you know my overall impression is that it's a fun movie especially for people that are in tune with the gaming and uh mo- mostly just entertainment world in general there's a lot of references to not just games but other you know, facets of entertainment, like movies yeah. and stuff. Um, and so if you're in tune with all that stuff and you know, like what's current and whatnot, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun movie to watch. Cause there's a lot of laughs. Like you said, Ryan Reynolds is, it's got Channing you know, Tatum in it as well. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, um, there, you know, it's a, it's a good movie for that. If you're looking for something to sit down and just enjoy, uh, for the next 90 minutes or however long it is, uh, it's a solid, solid movie to yeah. watch. Good watch. Um, and I think, you know, at this point, we haven't really spoiled too much. So for those of you that want are the kind of people that like to experience, uh, er, like, everything and not get spoiled, then, you know, you might want to stop watching now. Because uh, Spoiler. Yeah, this is your official Spoilers. spoiler alert warning because we're going to start diving into, like, the specifics of what happened during the movie and how we thought things went and... Uh, what was funny, what wasn't, and yeah. stuff. So, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, Real quick, spoilers. Good movie, super funny, it's yeah. enjoyable, Enjoy it's a good, it. especially if really you good have... casual watch. Yeah, if you have HBO Max, yeah, um, or if it gets added onto other streaming things and Netflix and stuff later, definitely, definitely just give it a watch. Yeah. It's a good yeah, watch for sure, for sure. All right, so um, let's talk about uh, <laughs> spoilers. Yeah, spoilers. Spoilers. Let's talk about uh, our favorite characters. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> 
Why is Ch- Channing Tatum? <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's just so funny because not only um, not only is Channing Tatum funny, but the yeah. guy who is the yes, player. That's why he's that's why too. he's my favorite <laughs> character be, or one of my favorite characters because the dynamic between the real real world version of the character Ch- that Channing Tatum plays. <laughs> they're just so polar opposite yeah which is you know like the stereotypical yeah, like it is. gamer like uh right st- uh, well, stereotype of the like stereotype of like you your live gaming in your character yeah. looks you know nothing ripped like, and, like you right gorgeous and then the gamer is like a yeah like a you said a nerd, nerd in your mom's basement kind yeah. of thing <laughs> it's just so funny though it's yeah, just they're the both way- super funny yeah. i don't remember the guy's name but he's the one that's in uh he's in stranger things too isn't yeah. he yeah as well yeah yeah he is um Oh yeah, he's the arcade. Yeah, guy. he's a arcade manager or whatever. It is. Yeah, the supervisor or yeah. something. So, um, but that I love, I love that character because that's like, you know, it, it, it's highlighting that stereotype that we yeah. just talked about, and but it like they kind of just accept it, like you know, how, like a lot I like, of movies try like to bust they, stereotypes, right? I like how they like. It's because the, yeah, there's other movies that do this, like Ready Player One, but yeah. they don't. But they don't do it in the cringy way of like, right. <laughs> "Hey kids, yeah. this is a thing." Yeah, it's like nah, like it's just like a real subtle, like if you you can just miss it if you don't actually like right. really look at look at it and think about it. Yeah, it's pretty, but it, it it's pretty great. Um, uh, who who is your favorite character or one of your favorite characters? Uh, I think. And it's probably just because I really love him, but Taiko ITD, he's Waititi. just so good, dude. He's so For funny. Real. He, I, Anything like, I that actually, he does. yeah, like, I actually, because uh, there's certain characters that are, like, um, I guess just too cringy, but, like, him, yeah, you, I could see him, like, you could see him, people thinking that he is his character. Right. That's because, like, that, that was the point. Like, you're supposed to, yeah. like, not like him. Right. But he plays it so well. That and I just love like how, him. like, over, yeah. uh, I guess, I don't know, how do I say it without, like, well, he's, he's a dick. Like, yeah, he's supposed to be, like, too. yeah, exactly. Like, he's just, he thinks way too much of himself and all this yeah. kind of crap. The way he dresses and everything is just absurd. Like, I've never yeah. seen anybody wear... Like that first um, outfit that he walks in yeah, on, it's, it's like just like seven what? It's like yeah, outfits pieced together. Yeah, it's like who the hell does that? But it almost gave me the sense of like uh, I forget his name, but the guy from as Grandma's Boy. Grandma's Boy. Uh, it's another movie about video game creating. Grandma's Boy. I forget the uh, name. I, I'm movie. not. I don't remember that one. Um, I just I I love I love Psycho Wife T T, but. Um, that exchange that he has with the uh, the Indian guy, where he's like, he's like, oh, you you wanted to have a bro moment, like you, you wanted to have a, an exchange. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I did. He's like, well, come over here. And like, and it's like, yeah, we're we're having a moment, and and get the f- back to work. Yeah, it's like it's, it's, it's so, so funny. Yeah, yeah all, all like all of his jokes, like always, yeah. like for me, it just land. Like his, he's so funny. He's yeah. great humor, but. Uh, and I yeah I love when he's like being over the top trying to be a dick and there's almost there's like a moment when he's like uh, um it's almost like that meme with uh, Dave Chappelle and he's like why why do we do this yeah because f- that's why yeah <laughs> like <laughs> at the very end and he's, when he's like like oh we can't do this. I don't care do yeah. it do it yeah <laughs> so funny um I was kind of surprised how much. Fortnite stuff was in there. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting um the first time I watched it, I wasn't expecting like any specific references because uh um, yeah, I wasn't expecting any of it yeah. besides the initial theme of Right, the GTA S style stuff. I was I maybe thought they would kind of hint at different things here and there but i wasn't expecting any specific references and we'll, we'll talk about those specific references later but um that kind of caught me off guard but it was also it was welcomed because it was like well oh, like it i don't know i thought i just thought it was it was it was cool to see yeah no it was super cool um it's kind of the same feeling that i had with Ready Player One. I love right. seeing all the, like all pop that. culture and video games and movies and all that stuff yeah. and music come like be shown off in one. Yeah, all together. Know, thing, the yeah, same all together. thing. Yeah. Um, 
They didn't, like in Ready Player One, they didn't, uh, I felt like they didn't do it enough that I, like there was things I really, like the Gundam scene was super amazing. Yeah. So short though, like yeah. I wanted more of it. Like the Iron Giant was awesome, which that got most of the stuff and all the little details of yeah. like the Halo spawns and stuff. So in this movie, it's kind of the same way, except for Fortnite. I feel like Fortnite like really got some sponsorships in there. Okay, like, so what... I'm trying to think. I know I remember the unicorn at the end. Oh yeah, there's what all else? the blatant. That was like one yeah. Of the but what so, else? Uh... So they had the different. So like the unicorn, right? Uh, pickaxe for sure. Yeah. Uh, the building was literally shot as if a Fortnite player was oh. building. Um. So every time they so you're talking about when, um, the... for for those that aren't watching for so like you're talking about like when or sorry for those that haven't seen it yet you're talking about the scenes when um, the, the cops the admins, are chasing them. Yeah. yeah so the admins are like uh trying to catch ryan reynolds's character right. guy because yeah. they think he's just a hacker that's right. like abusing the system or whatever and so they're like f- free forming the right. world they're to try to catch him yeah. like and breaking the face of their admins pick up on that and that's it, literally like it builds right. just like fortnite and the shot is as if you're playing fortnite and walking and, up right. like running up in the movement and stuff and then on top of that man i didn't um, even pick up on that when they after the scene with uh the secret layer or whatever and they're trying to steal the code yeah and they mess up and they right. lose it and they try to escape they jump out the window she pops out a Fortnite. Uh, oh glider glider yeah yeah you damn dude i didn't even pick up on that stuff. and then all the dancing and stuff that's that's straight up Fortnite. yeah yeah so and like it had a heavy Fortnite like references throughout, hmm. which is fine. Like, yeah, I don't mind that at all. That's just that, like, man, could I get out a little bit more of everything else yeah. at the very end? Like, yeah, because some mean, of the stuff super. Funny. All right, so let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about the more specific references that um or the more blatant references that came out during the end so, of Guy Brian Reynolds' character fights a. Super souped up, funny, souped up version of himself. himself yeah. Right, because Taika Waititi. And it's called Dude. Yeah. Instead of Guy. <laughs> so Taika Waititi plays the game developer, and um, during throughout during the movie, oh, he's kind of like the CEO of the company. Yeah, and so he's like, oh, like let's make a new character for the sequel, uh, based off of this guy, um, Brian Reynolds' character, but let's like juice him up you know yeah, like he literally a, looks like yeah, a super a roided super out super like, jacked dude but just yeah photoshop his like ryan, ryan Reynolds' head. head on top <laughs> but he's also like uh at the end uh taika waititi's character puts him into the game to in order to, to try and or stop um, uh, stop ryan yeah. reynolds ryan reynolds character but the developers that were developing him didn't finish him yet he was like half yeah. done and so he comes in and he just he has like his mental ability is just not there because he hasn't been fully developed. So he's like, he's so like, he, he walks like in, he's like, basic thing. catchphrase. Yeah, <laughs> instead of saying a yeah, catchphrase, like, he's just like catchphrase. <laughs> oh man, it's so funny. Yeah. Um, but while he's fighting him, there's some very specific references that were just hilarious. Yeah. So guy, while he's fighting him, uh, realizes getting beat up and stuff and yeah. thrown around. So he puts on the player glasses. Which is essentially the HUD right. of like you would see on a video game, and he's like scrolling through his items in his inventory, and he starts pulling stuff out to like help him. And two of my f- most favorite uh, references they have in there, which was and it was so funny because I'm glad they got a cameo. In yes, as well, is uh, a lot of you w- won't know, but like my favorite Marvel character is Captain America. Sorry. Uh, because he's just he's just the he's best just cap can't argue he's he's literally the best uh but he pulls out a shield to stop one of his yeah. punches he pulls out because he the dude guy is coming in with what's called a death blow to to kill ryan reynolds which is essentially like when you're playing like a um a game that involves like either melee weapons or hand-to-hand combat yeah. And when it like lights up red, and yeah. you can see that you're about to get hit. Or even if you've played like Time Crisis in the arcade, yeah, yeah. you'll see the red character flash up, and you yeah. know that's gonna hit you. Yeah, you know you can't do- you can't, you get, can't away yeah, get away from that. So he puts on the glasses, and then he pulls out a Captain America shield and blocks the the death punch. Yeah, I love the it. death blow. And it's it's like I love that they even got the little yeah. snippets of music to play with it yeah, as well. Yeah, 
and then it cuts immediately to Chris Evans he's like watching on the shop. phone in a coffee shop, and he's just like, "What the? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> it's so like, funny." And then of course, and of then course. right after, well, right after that, he uh, like he lowers the shield, and he has a Hulk hand. Yeah, like he he changed his hand changes to a Hulk hand, and he punches him. And then later on during that fight, there's also the unicorn axe from Fortnite. But then the second, the most second best one, of course, he pulls something up. out. It doesn't show you quite uh, yeah. immediately. He and like then reaches it's just above his cl- head. Yeah, it's a close up of a. Well, no, no, no. He he like he pulled it from below, and oh, he's like holding. He it. No, he's no, like holding right. it down yeah, low. Like this. And it's got a, like a close up shot. And I'm sure most of you know what from if you're a fan. Yeah. It's just close up on him, and you just hear the and a blue lightsaber comes lightsaber out. Lightsaber comes out, and then of course it's it's the, the hey, like everybody has to recognize it, and they're like, "Is that a lightsaber?" And it's yeah. cutting from the different characters, like that's yeah. a lightsaber. <laughs> so amazing! And he starts fighting. You hear the Star Wars music in the background. It's so great. Yeah. Like just the fact that they added those things in there is yeah, great. They had the portal gun, yeah, used quite a few times, yeah, um, which. I mean, I don't think that's gotten referenced in quite a while, so it's kind of cool to see that. I forget what else there was because there was a lot. There's, there's a oh, lot, there's yeah. a Mega Man, yeah, a Mega Man reference. I remember that. Um, yeah, yeah, but it was cool. It was all because we. I thoroughly enjoyed Ready Player One when it came out, and um, oh, I enjoyed that. And I liked too. well, I liked the movie. The story itself. A little bit shaky in my opinion, but I loved I loved I the just, video game. I mostly game just didn't like the characters. Honestly. Yeah, like the like the main. I don't like the main character. In fact, yeah. anybody that surrounded the main character, actually, the friends I didn't mind. I just didn't like the main guy and the main girl. The villain yeah. I actually didn't mind. Well, that's <laughs> yeah. I so well, this is in a review about Ready Player One. We can yeah, do that sorry. at a later time if you guys want to see. <laughs> but um, go ahead and leave us a comment if you want. Yeah. But, like, what I mean is that, you know, we're so, we've grown up with video games all our life, right? And we've, we've had the fortune of, throughout our lives, we've kind of see it, seen it grow from, obviously, we weren't there for, like, Sega Genesis days or whatever, but we kind of, yeah. we kind of saw the evolution of online playing. Like, yeah, we, sure. when we first started playing, like, online playing wasn't really a thing. Uh, and, and if it was, it was very, like, specific to certain things. Um, but now everything is online, right? Yeah. You can play in any game. You can uh, play multiplayer online, and um, so it's, it's cool to see movies start to come out that kind of showcase that, like Ready Player One, like uh, like Free Guy, and, and this one. I I really enjoyed the take that they took on it because um, Ready Player One was all about saving, I like, think, using the game to save the real world. I feel like Ready Player One wasn't as good it was it was still enjoyable to watch but it wasn't as good because it took itself too seriously yeah I, I, one, I could see that too very fun yeah this yeah. was meant to just be fun and funny and all all this stuff while telling a serious story because in reality like this guy ryan reynolds character was the first ever um self-aware ai and um the game developer that taika waititi plays was trying to get rid of him Right, like he was trying yeah, to, so he, trying to essentially kill him. When it starts off the movie, um, sorry, I don't know the two actors' names. Uh, yeah, I don't know the either. two developers that created the initial coding. Well, for... it's Keys and um, I know Keys is the guy. I don't know what the girl's name is. Uh, well, not their. Well, yeah, the characters. Uh, oh, you mean the actors? Millie. Millie. Keys yeah. And Millie. That's the that's the Keys and like, are character characters' names. names. Yeah. Like, uh, but. They created this coding that's the basis of this entire game right. that was bought uh, and unlawfully used by Taito, uh, Taiko Atidi's character right. in the movie. Um, and then Guy's character, uh, of course, is uh, evidence of that, that he's using their code without them, their without permission. It, yeah. And uh, his coding for his specific character, uh, which... To me, it was so obvious. It's kind of like it was like a nitpick that I had with it, but I didn't care because it's just I didn't want to take the movie like too serious. It's yeah. just something that I noticed. Yeah. Um, but it it was a character that was created by Keys, the guy, um, about the girl. Right. Because in the beginning, in the like very beginning, it shows you them taking an interview, 
and then they get asked a question before it, it swaps to the video game and stuff and ryan reynolds of are you two you two have like really good chemistry or like are you two together and then of course the girl immediately answers like no, no it's no. just it's just play time yeah. and the guy's just like oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, yeah. we're yeah, we're not. We're together. just friends. Yeah, yeah. Not, I don't want classic, to classic story. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just, but yeah, that little nitpick I was talking about, like uh, somehow uh, Millie like falls in love with. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't it's know, Ryan I would Reynolds. Fall in, I would fall in love with Ryan. Reynolds. It's Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I don't blame you, but like she falls. So she falls in love with this NPC, right? And it's like, that's kind of weird. Like, how do you fall in love with something that's not really real? Right. But it's like, it is because that character was created because of the guy's keys love for really. And then like, I don't understand. Like, I guess it's just part of the, yeah. And it was obvious. Like he literally said it to her in the face, like to the face, like, Hey, when he was trying to explain, like, this is what he is. Right. I created this. <laughs> like, well, he literally like, says, I created this guy. All right. I created this around you. Right. And it's like, I, like, I understand at the very end that they skip like three right. words attached to that. It was like, I created this for you. Yeah. But like, yeah, you should have so probably should have been able to put two and two. <laughs> but I mean, again, like it's not a big deal, and it doesn't harm the movie. No, it doesn't. But um, that's just something. I, I understand what you mean, though. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, I mean, of all the ridiculous things that happened in this movie, yeah. like that <laughs> that's probably the only thing that stood out to me. But. Yeah. All right, so you know we don't want to drag this this uh, episode on too much. So, what was your favorite part of the movie? Uh, honestly, I think just like the probably just the literally just the entire ending, the just fight like, scene, yeah, the all end. the fighting and yeah. nonstop like chasing and stuff, yeah, and then the like swapping between the different characters' perspectives and like them yelling at each other, like trying to trying to stop them from uh, getting to the the other seed or whatever of yeah. the world. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I definitely, I, I just, yeah, I love yeah. all the different references that happen and stuff, which mm-hmm. again, it gets smashed all in the end, but it, it is great. Yeah. Um, and again, yeah, Chris Evans. Just so Chris Evans. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, I do, I did enjoy that for sure. Um, I think my favorite part though, is the scene when the guy first gets a pair of glasses and is chasing after Millie. And then the two admins come into the game. No, and yeah. one is a cop and one, one is, is a bunny. bunny. Yeah. <laughs> or sorry, my bad, rabbit. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> and just the exchange that they have when they first, like when they first get out of the car and they tell him, hey, like come over here. The exchange that they have right there to me is just fucking hilarious. Because they're just like, they're like, hey man, where'd you get that skin? Yeah. <laughs> and Brian he has just no like, idea what he's like, talking about. It's like I just kind of always been there, like <laughs> and they're like, you know, you ready. can't be walking around with that skin, and you gotta take it off. You take off the skin right now, or we're gonna kill you. And he's like, the the line oh, that yeah. I like is he's like, he's like, uh, I really want to comply with you, but what you're saying just doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> Yeah. It's so funny. It's just to me, it's a perfect explanation of of what the movie is about. I'm like this guy is a self aware AI and has no idea, and they have yeah. no idea, and it's just so funny. Yeah, so yeah. that was a good scene. Yeah, there's a bunch of funny parts in it. What did you um, think? About, I feel like it was like a. I don't know if it was just me, but it was basically a reference to Ryan Reynolds' own work with Deadpool, of the scene when he first. He like falls down or whatever, or he's like he sees the girl and it's playing a song and stuff. Kind of like oh Deadpool. yeah, when, when he gets like yeah. stabbed and he's just like looking. Uh, at him yeah, yeah. yeah. Felt that I could see way. that. Yeah, it was Mariah Carey and it's great. Yeah, I didn't pick up on it, but I did. I could see that now. Um, I don't know if that was like intentional, intentional but that's yeah. what it felt like to me. Uh, maybe there's there's just so many funny parts, so many funny parts. The 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 cappuccino scene is hilarious. When he walks in, he's like, and then she's like, it's oh, like, coffee, two cream, think, sugar, uh, or two sugars and cream. And he's like, ah, I think I'm going to have a cappuccino today. And everybody's just like, like, cappuccino? Just like, coffee. What was it? I think it's two sugars, and, two no, sh- two creams and sugar. I don't know. Yeah, it's it was two like, something. Two sh- yeah. 
Yeah, it might be two. I don't know. Yeah, two. It's one or the other. <laughs> two sugars and a cream or something. I don't know. But whatever it is, like you, and she's just like, "What do you mean? Yeah, <laughs> this is, is what everybody is." And yeah. I love the fact that it was like the cops, like, "What did you just say?" Yeah, but that on his gun, <laughs> and he was like, "Ah, I was just testing you guys." Yeah, yeah it's like, so ah, like, like, even it was, the tank in the back. Like, yeah, I don't, it I don't know if that was supposed to, like uh, what they specifically meant to do that? that was. That was obviously to be, a player. Um, yeah. I don't know if that. Yeah, I don't, like I don't know if that was supposed to be like a. Just a funny thing, but I don't know if that's supposed to be like Battlefield or something. It's just random yeah. Abrams, M1 Abrams, but yeah, that was yeah. funny. All right, my final question for you is, um, what is your take? Because to me, uh, the biggest complaint that people had that I saw, at least specifically from our mutual friend, the biggest complaint was the streamer portion of it, uh, where they went, they were showcasing the different streamers and their, um, their like they are real world streamers, right? Yeah, like Ninja, Ninja. and uh, Pokemon. Is, is it Pokemon? Yeah. yeah, and other people, right? Um, and you know they well, they're talking about as if they play that game for uh, yeah and whatnot. So, what is your take on that? Did you think that that was what? I mean, what was the issue that he took with? Uh, he thought that it was um, not necessary and kind of just made it too corny, I guess. Uh, for me, in my personal opinion, I thought it was cool. I thought it was uh, uh, it it just kind of showcased where gaming and stuff is at nowadays, and that um, you know there's that this is where we are in society where people stream and play yeah. video games and, so, and whatnot. Uh, so I don't know. I thought it was cool. I think maybe I could see potentially that for people that aren't in the realm of streaming and stuff, like don't know anything about those people or even know that they exist. Like I could see how that might be a turnoff during the movie. Like you're watching, and they're all sudden like, "Who are these people? Like, what is going on?" Yeah. Um, so I could see that, but <clears throat> I don't know. I thought it was. I thought it was. A, yeah. yeah. No, um, it was all right. So I, uh, I can, I guess, understand of why you would think it's like kind of cringy and stuff, but that's it's not. Uh, I wouldn't consider this a bad thing. In fact, I think it's a really good thing because, like you said, uh, how like nowadays, um, streaming and video games right. has been done nothing but grow ever since they yeah. ever have existed, and now it's been bigger than ever. Yeah, and these streamers, for example, like the two that were featured, or at least that I know of that were featured yeah, in this I, movie. Yeah. I don't watch either of them. I don't like either of them, but I'm. I think it's cool that they were in this right. because it's expanding the potential of growth even further. Right. Because not only do all the streamers and stuff have all this sponsorships and brandings and stuff, and you know they'll get like all these internet ads and stuff. Right. Now they're expanding into movies, mm. which is good because that means there's potentially more gamers in the world right and i want as many people that i can stomp in video games <laughs> as i can right <laughs> no but like for, for, for real though like it's just it's i mean i think it's just awesome like seeing something that when you know we initially were born was like relatively small and sometimes looked looked down upon but right, now okay. it's become a massive business right. and like i mean think about huge like hobby like when i was a kid playing video games was always something that i wasn't allowed to do until everything else in my life was done with like my chores my homework and all everything which i understand you're trying to build discipline you're trying to build structure and stuff but the reason that was always said was you ain't gonna get anywhere playing video games you gotta do all this other stuff right and now it's like well Look there's <laughs> There's people making millions of dollars playing video, playing games. video games. And that's awesome. So um, it's cool to see the, the growth and the transition. And it's cool that I thought it was cool to see. Again, I don't like either of those streamers. Uh, I know who they are. I know some of the other people. I don't have anything against them. I just. No, just I just, not it's just not my. Me. Yeah, it's yeah. just not my, my uh, taste. But uh, I know some of the other streamers that were in there just by their face. I don't, I don't remember their names. I could have seen them before. Those are the two um, that stood out to me. Was, yeah, and I think they were meant to be the two. Of course, that's, that's for sure. Out. Ninja. <laughs> yeah. Well, can't mistake yeah. him. Yeah. Um, so it's just cool, but I also, on the other hand, could see how for people that aren't 
in like yeah, I think it was maybe maybe to him it was kind of like that. Hey, kids! Moment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I mean, if you really want to think about that, this whole movie was kind of like yeah. That. yeah. So like, I don't, I don't think it's that big of a deal. No, I I, I think I agree. So, all right, um, final final delineation. Uh, let's rate it. All right, we rated um, we rated uh, Bob, Book of Boba Fett. We'll do it out of we'll just we'll always do it out of ten. Yeah, but yeah, um, one out of ten. Um, let's see. You want to go first or you want to, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'll go first. Okay. Uh, so I just want to, I just want to say like this movie was, yeah, it was a surprising, like good, fun watch. Um, I mean, it's not like anything was like particularly like amazing, right. but it was, it was very entertaining. Uh, it was very funny. Had, uh, some, I mean, you know, good cinematography and stuff. The music was awesome, especially right. all the references and stuff. I actually got the licensing, I guess. Or at least for a short little yeah. snippet. Uh, but I'll give this... Mm, I want to say like a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10? Yeah. That's pretty solid. Yeah, um, I saw it in the theaters. And I think when you see movies in the theaters, it changes it a little bit. Right? Yeah, it's a different because experience. if I... Yeah, it's different because I watch them uh, watching it from right. HBO Max, and it's a, I think it's a different experience um, for better and for worse. Like when a movie is really good, a theater makes the movie even, even better, better yeah. and when a movie is bad, yeah, watching it in a theater even makes even it worse, even worse. You're like, dang, I put I yeah, paid, paid money, money in, on for top this. of it. Yeah, specifically, so, um, I I got to see it in the theaters, so my opinion is slightly different, but I agree with pretty much everything that you just said. Um, but for me, it's one of those movies that's like, not like a movie that you're going to list in your top 10 favorite movies of all time, but it is a movie that I don't regret watching it. Yeah. I don't regret watching it. And if like on a random day you had nothing else to do and you're just looking to fill some time and somebody's like, Hey, let's watch this movie. I'd be like, sure. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's let's watch it. So for me, I'm going to give it a 7.5 because of the theater experience. That, okay. that point five. I don't like having decimals, but I'll accept <laughs> it for this once. I get well. I gave Book of Old Fed a decimal too, but um, well, you were going to until oh, that's right. Going. Yeah. But it's okay. It's okay. It's I get, a good movie. Yeah. No, it's a solid, for you, Ryan solid Reynolds. Movie. I got you. And Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> um, I like you. You're cool. You're funny. I think you only play one character though, but hey, you're man, good at. If it, you're really good at something, hey, if it ain't broke, yeah, don't fix yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us uh, for our take on the movie Free Guy. You guys can check it out on HBO Max. Um, it's it's a good movie to watch if you got nothing else to do or if you're looking for just some funny entertainment from a guy like Ryan Reynolds. So, I think it's – pretty sure it's kid-friendly too. Yeah, the whole yeah I, def- I think – I don't think there's anything like – I don't think there is. It's nothing crazy. There, I will say there is guns and some violence, I mean, yes, and, but it's know. somewhat soft. It's not like – yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's like Ready Player One, like it's. Yeah, I would equate the the uh, very similar feeling. Yeah, so uh, check it out. Let us know what you guys think in the comments about Free Guy, um, and then also let us know if there are any other movies that may have slipped under the radar uh, for mainstream media and whatnot, and you want us to review them or or um, whatnot, and then check out our channel. We'll we have a couple other videos posted, so check out our other our other videos and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys in the next episode.